on this particular model is we have an inch and three eighths PTO shaft, 21 spline, 1,000 RPM. We'll hook that up to the tractor at this point. And that just goes on with a clip pin. Checked in place. Also, we'll hook up our hydraulic hoses. Our hydraulic hoses control the lift on the auger. Uh, it's just a simple, the vac comes standard with a simple Pioneer end. What we do is during our hookup, we want to be prepped in the standard hole of the tractor, which is 16 inches from the butt of the PTO to the point where we drop the pin in. And why that's critical is we want to allow for the telescope of the PTO shaft to be uh, not where it telescopes out too far or telescopes in too tight. So we want to be, as the decal indicates, 14 or 16 inches. And for this 1,000 PTO, it's 16 inches, again, from the butt of the PTO to the drawbar. Next, we come back into our PTO shaft. We have an overrunning clutch on the 210 underneath the shield. We go to the belt drive. Uh, under the belt, we're just a simple drive going with a power banded belt to the fan, and then we go with a shaft out the back to the auger. At this point, we'll work our way around. This is what we call our air regulator or dampener. What the purpose of this control is for to allow the unit to start up with less horsepower requirement. So during the startup procedure, we would start the tractor, start the PTO, and after the PTO is engaged and, and in operating speed, we would remove the clip and drop this down. Now this air regulator will hover in this three quarter to full position and that's where we want it. We would adjust the weight at the bottom for different weights of products like your corn, beans, and wheat. Here we have the slide gate. That's for clean out. Um, this pole closed, open, and closed. And what that allows for is uh, water or moisture to run through or for final clean out of the auger down below. Jason, you want to pull that open? And close that. We need it closed for conveying grain so that it doesn't bring the air back through. On the back of the machine we have our, our uh, second inlet and this particular unit set up with the GVA mounts on the machine so you could convey out of the bag with the GVA attachment and at that point we would attach the hoses from the GVA to this mount and we would have to uh, remove the bolts, open the slide gate and have this inlet on the opposite side closed off. Now this particular inlet is a set up for conveying out of your grain bins. Underneath the shielding, we go with the 60 chain from the gearbox to the auger, and there's a shear pin on the auger that we covered earlier. During conveying, we would like the product to wash by the top window and the bottom window if we can set the pipe up where it would just move by the lower window. On the front side, we have our pipe rack and our existing pipe. Generally, the first pipe that we will start out with is our combination pipe. And at this time, we'll put that on. Jason, if you want to remove that.
lock that in place. The combination pipe gives us some mobility up and down and forward and back. Our next pipe, we could go with additional straight pipe. And we'll put one more straight pipe on. Jason's locking it in, into position. This is our bulk nozzle, and I'll put that into place. Now, what we would do in operation of the bulk nozzle is we would start it out with the air door open all the way, and we would close it down to a quarter inch increments to regulate the flow of the grain and air mixture going back to the machine. We would close this down and watch the window on the machine cyclone to get the right flow of air to grain mixture and we don't want to overload the airlock if we were in a lighter weight product and that's why we're going to keep an eye on the main window. The other thing we want to check is where the air regulator is in operation. Is it in the down position like I explained earlier? Also we have uh, for cleanup we would have our rubber hose for a cleanup application or more flexible position we would use our galvanized flex. The other thing we have to watch for when we're conveying is this machine is set up with a backup screen. The backup screen is in the top of the cyclone receiver. And the purpose of the backup screen is to prevent any grain from going over into the fan setup. And what I mean by that is if the auger on the bottom would stop from an obstruction stuck in the auger that we picked up in the grain, the cyclone would fill up. And when we seen the grain wasn't moving in the, in the uh, windows and we don't have any grain coming out, the backup screen will catch all the product. Plus it's going to catch some of the dust residue. So periodically we want to clean the backup screen and what we do is pull it out the top. Real simple. And at this point, we'd have dust residue on it. We'd just brush it off and insert it back in. And you're ready to start loading trucks again. And that's what we will do now.